what is the Junior Math Challenge? Perhaps you're a student that's going to be taking this in April, perhaps you're a parent of a student or a teacher uh, starting out who wants to know more about what the Junior Math Challenge is. In this video I'm going to tell you everything about the Junior Math Challenge, what it is, what you can do to prepare and how students uh, really use these challenges to uh, enrich their experience of maths, to enjoy it and to learn a lot along the way too. My name's Kevin, I'm an experienced teacher having worked in London's top independent uh, private schools for many years and also I've worked as a private tutor for more than a decade working with lots of students taking maths exams including the maths challenges and I've really seen how the junior maths challenge can be the beginning of a really exciting journey through maths for students. It's a challenge that can really energize students to get them excited about maths, to enjoy puzzles and problem solving, to get them out of the boring sort of repetition that we sometimes get into in everyday uh, school maths and to stretch them to understand it uh, as fully as possible. Doing these sorts of problems have really always been at the center of my philosophy of teaching. Yes, you need to learn techniques in maths, but you've got to learn how to solve problems. You've got to learn how to think deeply and you've got to learn um, uh, so much more than just those basic techniques. So if you don't know what the Junior Maths Challenge is, please let me take a few minutes to show you in a bit more detail. We will look at one of the past papers, we'll look at a few questions and see the sorts of things that they ask and we will talk about why they are so good for students of this age group to have a go at. Over the last year I've also been working on lo lots of online courses to help you prepare. Most of them are free. Let me just show you a quick 30 second clip about those courses so you can see what's in them and I really hope you will sign up below and use those to help you prepare. Get ready for maths challenges with my free online courses. Working through recent past papers you can try the questions yourself. If you get stuck look at the video hint enter the answer, see if you've got it right, and then watch the full video solution. It's a really great way to prepare for any of the maths challenges, so take a look now. So the best way to learn what the JMC is, the Junior Maths Challenge, is from the UKMT's website. The UKMT is the United Kingdom Mathematics Trust. That is the charity that organises and runs the Junior Maths Challenge every year in April, usually at the end of April, sometime just after Easter holidays here in the UK. In 2022, it's happening on the 27th to the 28th of April, or a day later in China. Now, uh, it's a challenge, uh, you can see here. So it is a sort of test, uh, but it's not meant to be an exam style test. It's a problem solving challenge, meant to be a little bit more uh, fun. You can get certificates for it rather than uh, grades. Uh, and so, you know, you can't fail this challenge. You can only uh, get certificates if you do well. So, it's a 60 minute multiple choice challenge. Um, you can have a quick look here. Here's last year's uh, paper. You can see every question here has five answers uh, from A to E and you just select a multiple choice uh, option and they get progressively harder as you go through the paper. Actually, most students that do the challenge don't do the last questions. You can do really well on this challenge just by doing questions one to 15. In another video, I've talked in a lot more detail about how the scoring works and exactly how well you have to do uh, to get each grade boundary. So take a look at that as well if you want to. Right, so who can take the Junior Maths Challenge? It says here, eligible year groups in England and Wales, uh, year eight and below. In Scotland, that's S2 and below. And in Northern Ireland, year nine and below. Um, but it can be taken overseas. Uh, you have to be at a registered UKMT uh, test centre, but many international schools uh, take this contest as well. So this is roughly for students who are, you know, 13 years or younger. Um, so younger students are allowed to take it as well. I often work with primary students who take the Junior Maths Challenge when they're a little bit uh, more advanced. And uh, But you can't take it once you get to uh, year 9 in England and Wales or the equivalent years uh, and older. At that point you go on to the Intermediate Maths Challenge and the Senior Maths Challenge for those different uh, age groups. So there's an entry fee for the competition. It's about uh, a pound or so uh, per student. Usually schools cover that so the students don't have to pay for it themselves but you can check with your own school. Um, they really really do try hard to keep the uh, costs of this challenge low to make sure as many schools can participate uh, as possible and if you want to help them out and if you've got some more money to spare you can uh, give a donation to them uh, down at the bottom uh, here and they would um, really appreciate that to keep that uh, as low as possible by the way I'm not affiliated with the UKMT they have given me uh, permission to use their problems in our uh, in some online courses uh, but apart from that um, that's just uh, a thought for anyone who would like to contribute to their work. Now a bit further down, this is what most students care about I think, uh, when you do well in the Junior Maths Challenge you can get a certificate. 
So it says here 50% of participants get a bronze, silver or gold certificate in this ratio, uh, 3 to 2 to 1, and uh, they'll also send out badges for best in year and best in school and things like that. Uh, but mostly people are focused on these gold, silver and bronze certificates. And again, in another video, I've gone into a lot more detail about uh, exactly what score got you what certificate in different years, um, so you can take a look at that. Um, but the students that then do really well uh, can also go on to the Junior Olympiad and the Junior uh, Kangaroo. Um, so the Kangaroo mostly is sort of if you get a gold or a bit better, but the Olympiad is a very different uh, sort of paper. So the Kangaroo is like a harder version of the Junior Maths Challenge or multiple choice, but the Olympiad has non-multiple choice questions much more involved and it has to be marked uh, by hand as well, which is why a lot fewer uh, students take it. And this maths challenge really feeds into this whole series of maths challenges and Olympiads that students can take as they go through school. And the very top students who go on to study maths at university or related subjects often put the certificates for this challenge um, are on their UCAS statements um, and you know, the students who go on to the Olympiad uh, for the senior versions, they go to summer schools in Cambridge and they can participate in national contests against uh, other countries and things. Now that's for the very uh, few um, that do really, really well in these competitions. Um, but it does feed into this whole structure of maths challenges that's all about supporting students to get better at maths uh, and also to enjoy it. So one reason students might do the competitions is to get those certificates but I would argue it's just as important to do them for the main purpose of these math challenges, which is that, as they say here, it does encourage mathematical reasoning, precision of thought, and fluency in using basic mathematical techniques to solve interesting problems. These problems are designed to make students think, and they're accessible, but still challenge those with more experience. So I could pick, you know, any uh, a question from last year's paper and actually if you want to look at these in more detail you can go to the free online course that I've made where you can work through every question in this paper with full video uh, hints and solutions. Um, but you can see that the maths involved in these questions isn't necessarily uh, particularly advanced, right? The idea of this is that it only uses maths that everyone who's been who's taking this competition will have seen before. You know, what, which of the following are multiples of 11? Some basic arithmetic at the start here. Okay, a bit of fractions, a bit of angles. Um, but what you see that's quite different is that these are phrased more like fun maths puzzles. It is a maths challenge. Okay, so there's a bit more translation of, uh, of questions that are in words into maths. Things are phrased in slightly unusual ways. Um, there are these little geometry puzzles where you have to pick the uh, take the pictures apart and sort of you know move parts of the picture around and really think through what's going on here these sorts of angles questions uh, like this one here that really just um, put some unusual shapes in and stretch students to do something a bit beyond those sort of ordinary textbook exercises that they've got and to develop that fluency in mathematical problem solving but also in applying the maths that they've learned to new situations to things that they haven't seen before. So often in maths tests, we teach students a technique and then we get them to repeat that technique. And not only is it a bit boring, it doesn't really help them uh, see why maths is so useful to the world around them. So I think the Junior Maths Challenge and other competitions like it are an essential part of the diet of any uh, student uh, who really wants to get good at maths. So. You know, you don't ultimately get a qualification as a result of doing the Junior Maths Challenge. You might get a certificate that you can use, but it really does help you get better at maths. So it will also help you be better as a GCSC, maybe even an A-level student. Right, so many students that take these challenges also get excited about maths, enthusiastic about maths, and want to go on and do more maths. So there we go, that's my adver advertisement for why everyone should do uh, the Junior Maths Challenge. So I hope that's useful. Uh, if you're taking the Junior Maths Challenge or you know someone who is, do send them over to my free online courses. I'd really love to help them prepare further for that and get down to the detail of how they can do really well in those uh, challenges. Have a look at the other videos about exactly how you get the different grade boundaries and things if you want to as well. Um, otherwise, good luck with the challenges if you're a student, good luck with your teaching if you're a teacher. Uh, please do comment below if you've got any questions. Always love to hear how students have got on the challenges as well, especially if they've taken one of my courses. So let me know in the comments how you did on the JMC or other challenges if you want to, and I will see you in another video soon.